Today we unbox and review the RG Hardy Practice Goose. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. All right, I have a new fresh box from Jeremy Downs at Lone Star Piper, and we are going to open this bad boy up and see what's inside. What do we have? First off, some seasoning. Thank you, Jeremy. I went through two containers of this uh, making a bag recently airtight, and uh, yeah, this refills my stash. So we'll put these over here. Always a fan of the Hardy's airtight. And let's not wasting time and see what else is in here. And we have the RG Hardy Practice Goose. Let's see what all is in this bag. Instructional manual piece of paper here. We have a twist trap top so the twist trap top a very good water trap for practice channers practice pipes and now this goose it catches much of the moisture right here in this part of the mouthpiece which just screws on to the rest easy to clean out does a great job we have the reed we have the chanter and we have the goose seeing as the bag and everything else is black i decided to put on a lighter colored shirt here so we can kind of see what was going on so as we investigate this goose here, first looking at the blowpipe, we can see it has an adapter stuck on here that will allow you to put the twist trap mouthpiece right on this main stock. That said, this comes out. There's a valve built into this. And to note, on this blowpipe adapter, it unscrews to access the valve from the smaller of the two sections with O-rings. From here, you can readily get to the valve right there so to know where this detaches make sure that's seated nice and square it's always good to know where these things detach because when they're fully put together it can be rather difficult to tell and the same thing holds true for the channer it has a chanter stock adapter that normal channer stock right here but you can put the adapter in and now it will fit the goose chanter right here you can attach your highland bagpipe blowpipe into this should you have a set of Highland pipes and want to use this goose bag for your pipe channer and your actual bagpipe blowpipe, which is going to have a larger bore and let you get the air in more readily than this twist trap top, which is kind of designed for the lighter read of a practice channer. So this bag here is doing dual duty as both a practice goose for a practice channer, as well as a Highland goose for a Highland bagpipe channer once you get your full set of Highland pipes. Let's see how this thing is going. If you're enjoying the content here, guys, think about heading over to my Patreon, where as little as a dollar a month goes a long way to helping support the channel. And a special shout out to Miss Carrie Tresek, my number one supporter. You often get early access to videos and other perks, so check out my Patreon. So as you can hear, makes a perfectly great practice goose. And I know many instructors out there prefer their students start even on a practice goose. But for those of you that have been following my videos for some time, you know that for me, I tend to recommend my students start with a basic practice channer, and then when they're ready, they get something like the RG Hardy twist trap pipes here. I find the incorporation of a drone along with the channer can go a long way to helping your steadiness, but I'm never trying to go against anything your instructor might be saying. So if your instructor says you should start on a practice goose, I can very strongly recommend the RG Hardy practice goose right here. And again, you can take the blowpipe out at the stock right here, stick in a Highland blowpipe, and then take the chanter stock adapter out and stick in a Highland chanter here and have a go. And we're gonna do that right now. If you're enjoying the video, everyone, think about giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. It helps more than you know. 
I also wanted to talk briefly just about the Chanter adapter. Now this is available by itself, but this allows you, again, if you already own your set of Highland pipes, but you're not ready for it yet, you can turn your entire instrument into a goose by having one of these things right here. Again, it fits right into the Chanter stock like such, and it doesn't stick out very far, which is nice. And then it interfaces straight with your practice channer, and you can turn your whole instrument into a practice goose using this. I'd cork up the drones. These are going to be taking way too much air and probably be in the wrong tuning, but cork up your drones, use your blowpipe, be careful with your blowing, but uh, yeah, you can turn your regular pipes into a goose using this adapter. If your instructor is wanting to either start on a goose or transition to a goose sometime early in your process, this is a great instrument. It comes with a practice channer. Take this mouthpiece off of this mouthpiece adapter. Here's the channer. Boom. You have a perfectly great practice channer. But when you're ready and your instructor tells you you're ready for a bag under your arm, you can detach these, put them into the practice goose and be ready to go. And if you're one of my students or your instructor wishes that your practice instrument had a drone, there is always the RG Hardy twist trap practice pipes here. Again, the mouthpiece and chanter form a great practice channer, and it also has drones. With the twist traps, be aware, you cannot modify these to fit a Highland bagpipe channer and mouthpiece. These are what they are. They're a great practice instrument. But if you wanted a goose that you could eventually even stick your Highland pipe channer and blowpipe in, the RG Hardy practice goose is a great choice. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, check this one out right here where I really go into depth about the twist trap pipes or this one right here about helping you buy your first set of Highland pipes. If you wanted to command your bagpipe merchandise, there's a link in the description below. And to learn more on bagpipe lessons, head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com. Until next time, guys, I'm Matt Willis. Cheers.